So I've looked at using expression maps in an earlier video, but I wanted to have a look at how you would use it with Speechfire's UACC uh, interface. So stay tuned. If we haven't met yet, my name is Tormod and I run this channel called Sifter Studios. And on here we do media composing tutorials, Cubase tips and tricks and freelance lifestyle talks. So uh, if that sounds interesting, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. All right, uh, let's have a look at how to use uh, expression maps in Cubase as a way to control Spitfire's instruments with their own kind of uh, system uh, that they've called UACC. So let's have a look. This is Spitfire's uh, website where they tell us what UACC is and how to use it. And the gist of it is that they've used a CC or a continuous controller. If you know a little bit about MIDI, you know that every CC can have a value between 0 and 127. So that's 128 different possibilities. And they program some of these values to correspond to different sounds, which they've then made a system out of and kind of made all other instruments respond to those values. So it's consistent uh, from instrument to instrument. That's the nice thing about it. Personally, I'm still making individual expression maps because I don't want a value like a small muted if there is no sound that corresponds to it in the particular instrument that I'm working with. But it is nice to see some kind of a system uh, being incorporated in this world of sampling. And we're going to look at how we would add that in an expression map today. So let's jump back into Cubase, create a instrument track. And let's find some uh, Spitfire stuff. We can do Spitfire Mass A, for example. There we go. Okay, so it's working and we have lots of different articulations here that we can change between. I really like this one, brass string choir. Let's go ahead and create an expression map. So expression map set up. So I'm gonna show you really quickly how you need to do this and then I'm gonna open up the finished version. I have lots of these Spitfire libraries actually saved off in my Discord server and I'm giving them away for free. So if you guys would like to uh, save some time, uh, you can go straight there, link is in the description. Uh, but if you wanna learn that, then you can follow along. So let's create a new expression map and let's call it Spitfire Marseille. I think that's how you pronounce it. We need to do a, a little thing in the instrument itself. So let's go to the cog and go into the ed, kind of edit menu. Let's go down here and click lock to UACC. What that's going to do is going to make the instrument uh, respond to the CC32. And if I click the different articulations, it's now going to tell me which value of CC32 it will respond to. Okay, let's do the three first. So long, staccato, and piece long. Three sound slots. And for all of these, we're gonna create some output mapping, and it's gonna be a little bit different than if you were using key switches. So let's hit the plus sign, and instead of a note on, we're now gonna do a controller. And here we can choose which CC, so we're gonna do CC32. And we're gonna do value five, and that's it. So for staccato, we're gonna do the same. Controller 32 and value nine. Beast long is actually CC32 value one. Great. And if I program program changes here, I can actually change it on the spot right here. So you can see that it's now working and reacting to the CC32. If I change this to unlocked articulation, it would not. So you 
will need to go in and lock it to UACT. Now let's have a look at the finished, if I can find it. So here's my expression maps, Spitfire, uh, Masse, and Tutti. And here's all of the different things neatly organized. And you can see that I'm able to quickly switch between them using program change messages. And if I were to create a MIDI region, I would be able to change these. So if we now have a look at the instrument while playing, you can see that it changes. on a note per note basis. So again, if you would like to uh, download some of these expression maps uh, for free, check out the Discord server linked below. And if you want to do it yourself, you now know how to. So uh, I'm going to be back soon with a new video. Uh, but until then, remember that there is always gold in everyone.